Hi everyone, it's Mike here. I'm known as the Gopher out in the forums. I'm going to be making some instructional videos to help you through the process of modding any of the mods that are on the boards into your Minecraft game. Very simple, um, we'll take it piece by piece. This one is the basics. A lot of you out there will know exactly what I'm talking about here, so you may want to skip this, but for anybody who doesn't, um, I hope this does help. Now I'll be taking you through things like finding your .minecraft folder, um, then finding your minecraft.jar and downloading mods and the support fi files that you'll need for that mod and also compression software. Now, let's jump straight into it and we'll go into finding your .minecraft folder. This is pretty easy really. Um, click on start, click on run and in there you, you type in percentage app data percentage and click OK and what that will do is bring you up this little folder here. Excuse me while I move your, my screen around and that's the top one there dot minecraft that's how you find it so nice and simple it'll always be at the top it's got the dot in front which means it will be the first in the list so double click your minecraft folder and in there you will find different files different folders and the one that we need to look at is the bin folder so double click that and inside you'll find different files and the holy grail of your Minecraft program which is minecraft.jar. Now this little girl here needs to have a compression software to be able to open. Now what I use is WinRAR. There are other compression um, software out there like 7-zip or WinZip or WinAce. There's plenty of different ones out there but the one that I use is WinRAR. Um, reason being it's never gone wrong so if something doesn't go wrong it's pointless changing it. Now there's two ways to do it. You can right click on the file and click open with and whatever you're using or you can double click it. And now that will bring you up this window here which is the inside of your Minecraft jar. Now there's a thousand different things in here, mainly class files and there's also a few PNGs or picture files. Now I will take you through how to put things in here in the second video. This really is just a, a low level basic stuff so we'll get out of there next thing we'll need to do is get your mod now I'll use on this um, video I'll use more ores because it does need a few extra files so it's a good one to be able to show you all you need to do is always go to the first page this is what's called the OP or the original post and um, please don't go into the threads and say oh my god I can't find it or oh my god how does it work or if you haven't been at least to this piece because you'll be flamed or ignored so let's scroll down you'll find that the files are usually at the end of all the instructions and pictures and here it is this is what you'll need to click on you click that you'll download more ores and these are the pieces that are called support files that you'll need to have to make that run if you don't download these it's um, it's pointless so you need to make sure you get mod loader 5 always look for the versions and the numbers on these things as well because if you get one that's old it probably isn't compatible. So mod loader 5, more block IDs, and that's the, the version 10, tool utils and property reader. Now the same thing again, you will click these, download them onto your PC, and away you go. So that is the end of the basics. As I said, it is a very low level look at things. And the next video that I'll be doing is the mod in 101, which is just an easy quick let's throw a few things into minecraft jar and see if it runs so i will sign off now and i'll talk to you soon hope this helped cheers